Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve a different problem in which you need to find out the composite cost of capital. So here you need to find out the composite cost of capital. So here you have given out of 100%, how much percentage is the debt? So out of 100%, 0% is debt. Second one, it says 10%. Third is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60%. Then for that, the relevant cost of debt is given and cost of equity is given. Using this information, we need to compute the composite cost of capital. Means composite is a mixture of both debt and equity. So first, always you write whatever they have given in the question. That is debt as a percentage of total capital employed. They have given here 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. And for that, you take only cost of debt. Take only cost of debt. Write the same values in the second column. But in the third column, you need to find out equity as a cost of or equity as a percentage of total capital employed, which they have not given in the question. You need to find it out. How do you find it out? It is as simple as this. In the total capital of a firm, if 0% is debt, then 100% will be equity only. Suppose out of 100%, 10% if it is debt, 90% will be equity. Then in out of 100%, 20% if it is debt, then 80% will be equity. If 30% is debt, then 70% will be equity. If 40% is debt capital, 60% will be equity. If out of 100, 50% is debt, then remaining 50% will be equity. If 60% of the capital is debt capital, then the remaining 40% will be equity. So this is how we need to find. Next in the question they have given, cost of equity. So you will write it here, cost of equity. Now, using these two, these three things, you need to find out Wx. We need to find out Wx. How do we find that Wx means you need to multiply these two columns plus these two columns. So, how to do that? If I show one thing, you will understand. So, 0 into 5. See these two columns plus 100 into 12. Similarly, second column if you do before that. 0 into 5 is 0 and 100 into 12 will be 1200. If you add everything, you get 1200. Next, what you need to do? 10 into 5 plus 90 into 12. So, you need to do 10 into 5 plus 90 into 12. 10 into 5 is 50 plus 90 into 12 is 1080. If you add both, you get 1130. Next, for the third combination, it will be 20 into 5 plus 80 into 12.5. 20 into 0.5 will be 100. 80 into 12.5 will be 1000. If you add both, you get 1100. Next, it will be 30 into 5.5 plus 70 into 100. So, 30 into 5.5 is 165. 17 to 13 will be 910. If you add both, you get 1075. Next, 14 to 6 plus 16 to 14. 14 to 6 is 240. 16 to 14 is 840. If you add those two, you get 1080. Next, similarly, you have to do it for other two years also. Now what you need to do is, you need to add this column, make a total of this. So you need to add for, from first, what is that 1200 plus 1130 plus 1100 plus 1075 plus 1080 plus 1125 plus 1220 you get 7930 that is your total or it is also called as 
summation x w it is called as summation x w so next if you remember this is the in the previous part video that is part 1 2 and 3 video i have we have used a formula that is a weighted average cost of capital formula that is summation w x divided by summation w so the same formula we will be using it here so we need to find out the weighted average cost of capital so 7930 divided by 100 suppose if anything is if regarding sigma w if no information is given then we will assume it to be 100 so 7930 divided by 100 if you do we will get 79.3 percentage that will be your composite cost of capital this is how you need to solve the problem hope you have understood how to solve the problem if you have any doubts you can put your doubts in the comment box so that i'll respond to your doubts as soon as possible thank you for watching the video i'll come back with the next video as soon as possible